looks like a double. All right, we're not too, too far off. All right, let's see. Okay. All right, that's close enough. Not easy doing this with gloves. Cold. Good. Well, if you can stick around, audience, I'm going to uh, go into Astro Toaster after. Capture some of these. And what I want to do, Jack, is we'll capture some with the adjustments applied in the Melicam Sky, and then we'll capture some with uh, the settings at default. M63. Oh, it's fun to be out. It's good to be out again. It's been too long. Thanks, Jack. It's fantastic to be out again, that's for sure. Look at this yellow star. Really nice. Oh, it's cold here. Thanks, Dave. Well, it makes it all worthwhile, you know. I got a good large audience. Makes me uh, more enticed, enticed to come out and try and do my best for everybody and to show people how to adjust and this and that. Even though it is cold, I uh, put up with it. I'm doing okay. All right. Let's get the guider going. I haven't been doing good on guide stars though. I don't know why. And I got the gain at 90. I should use my Melicam guider next time. This is the Orion. I can't even, look at that, I can't even pick up a guide star. I'm probably, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to. That's a good idea. And I don't care if I uh, don't have matching darks. I don't need the darks. Okay, let's try this, see if this works. Still, let's try 2.5. Okay. You know something, thanks Steve, that's a good suggestion. You know something, darks don't really they don't really make a big, big difference when you're doing your guider, I find. This sensor is not too bad. The Orion, uh, the sensor in the Orion uh, guider and the Melicam guider the sensor is fine. I, I just been in the habit of um, doing darks with uh, my guide, guide camera, but I'm not bothering right now. All right, good. It seems to be holding fine. <laughs> And let me just check. We're on M63. Let me uh, delete this. M63. All right, here we go. Let's go back to trigger mode and go to loop 45 seconds gain is at 30 which is roughly about 60 percent it is 60 actually okay we have 20 seconds to go now let's see with dark frame uh, off. Let's reset that. Take that off for now. Okay. And
We were at 200, so we'll go about 215. I won't darken it yet. Watch when this is engaged. Okay, you can see all the uh, pixels. Let me zoom in here a little bit to 100%. We'll go 75%. You can clearly see we'll do 100%. Now we got four seconds. Now watch all these pixels. A lot of them should disappear. There we go. Not bad. Very nice. Does an excellent job cleaning up the noise and the pixels. It helps, definitely helps reduce the noise. All right. And. Let me just disable it again so we can see. The only thing with the wheel, I got to remember to uh, see this scrolls when I move the wheel. I have to push it in. There. Now when I push that in. Actually, maybe I'll just leave it set. If I hit the right or left button. Okay, it still does it, okay. Good evening, Jim. How are you? Okay, I just want you to see this. Yeah, it's been a while. Okay, can you see all the warm, hot and warm pixels at this image scale, everybody? I'm just trying to get you to see the whole, there, the whole field of view. How about there, Jack? Can you see it? there or no? Okay. Now let me put this on and let's see how the noise and the uh, and the amp glow goes. Let's see. Here's the amp glow all across here. Here it comes. There we go. Not bad. Very, very nice. Very nice. I'm very impressed with that. Wow. That really worked good. Okay. I'm going to raise the black point. Double clip touch. All right. Okay. And let me just uh, leave it on for now. Yeah, I know we have uh, severe vignetting, but that's okay for now. Here we go. Two seconds. There. Okay, now let me take off, you can see it better, take off the dark field correction, and let's watch all the amp glow come back in the hot and warm pixels. Let me uh, bring this back so you can see the scale better. That should be better for you. Okay, we have uh, 13 seconds to go. Five seconds. Here we go. Wow. Big difference, huh? It really works good. Now, I'm curious. Let's go pick our other dark and see how it works on the amp glow because remember this dark field was set uh, with the white point at 200. Okay. Let's pick the other one one more time. Let's engage it, enable it. You can see the amp glow across the top, down here, and across the bottom. Five seconds. Here we go. And the noise is reduced drastically. Quite a big difference. Okay. All right, so let's take this off and let's import the default one. And let's see how this works. The default is at 255. Now, if I push this to 200, where we were before. Let's see what happens. Okay, enabled. Now this is the default where the white balance was set at 255. Let's see if it does take care of all the amp glow. 
See, it came back a bit right here. Can you all see that? Right there, there. Is my mic working? Test. Oh, okay, there's a time delay, okay. How much of a delay are you getting? Wow, about a 10 to 15, 20 second, that's big. That's a big delay. I, my apologies, I didn't realize you were having that much of a uh, delay. Okay, so I'll try and wait a little bit then. If I forget, just remind me please. Okay, so this is the dark field correction set to default when we saved three times 45 seconds. So this is a master of three. I usually like three, 45 seconds long to match the exposure. But the white point and the contrast was at default. Contrast um, on the other one was at minus 15. Okay, and which I didn't do yet. Let me just put this at minus 15. Okay, minus 15 was the dark field and uh, 255. So the default was at zero for everything and 255, the default on the histogram. The other dark is minus 15 contrast, everything else is at default and the white point was lowered to 200. That's the only two difference. Gain was the same, yes, 30. What you got to do, Michael, is you figure out what gain you're going to use for the night and leave it there. Figure out which, anywhere from 20 to 30 is pretty good. So you can definitely see the difference. Now I'm going to kick in the other one, the other dark field. And uh, let me disable it. Import. I lost the guider, so don't worry about the stars. Okay, now, do you remember when I was taking the dark field correction, everybody that was with me about an hour ago? I did two. I, I left one, all the settings to default, and the other one I, had, I established that my image looked best in uh, Malachem Sky Raider with the white balance lowered to 200, so I left it there, and contrast was at minus 15. Everything else was default. So I captured my dark, three times 45 second dark master at that one. This is the dark right there. Did you see the amp glow? Okay, I know there's a 10, 20 second delay. You'll notice, just let me know if you notice the amp glow diminished with this um, dark, not the default dark, but the one where I adjusted. Just let me know when it kicked in. It should kick in any second. Okay, good, Jack. Did you see the difference? Okay. All right, good. That's why everybody who's starting to use their cameras, the Sky Raider cameras and this software, you're best to figure out what your settings is going to be before you take your dark fields. That way you can apply your adjustments to your dark fields so they match better. Okay? So what I want to do now is I'm going to capture some images and we're going to try Astro Toaster. I'm going to get off this one because this one's having a hard time. Uh, I'm going to go to three seconds.